Hi. Thank you for taking an interest in taking our soil biology classes. My name is Suka Humbu, and um, I'm an ardent regenerative agricultural farmer. I've been farming for 25 years. Uh, my journey started, my farming journey started as a conventional farmer, um, where I was using inputs like synthetic fertilizers and um, pesticides without even thinking about the consequences on my health. Um, and then this actually all changed one day while I was spraying a pesticide called dimethoate in the garden on my tomato plants and the insects. I was with my mum and mum got caught downdrift of the spray and inhaled some of the toxic spray and it affected her instantly and really, really badly. She started throwing up. She started staggering. After a while, she could hardly even walk. We had to put her to bed, give her lots of rehydration and try and figure out what to do. She slowly started coming around. But what we found out later was that this particular pesticide, dimethoate, which is a neurotoxin, had affected her nervous system. We were really lucky that it was not in volumes enough to have killed her, but it really made us think about what we were putting on our foods, what we were feeding our children, what we were feeding our families and our customers who were buying our vegetables. What was not really cool about this was that that particular pesticide I bought in a supermarket and I bought it next to the bread, in the section next to the bread, actually in reach of children, that lethal pesticide called dimethoate. Worse still, I bought it because I was advised to spray the insects on the tomatoes um, by my agro dealer and I actually had no idea whether they were indeed even pests, they were insects. I didn't know whether they were bad insects, whether they were pests. I didn't know whether they were beneficial. And I had no idea, no clue whether they were even pollinators. I, had, I didn't know anything about that. And I surely didn't know anything about soil biology then. But changing to farming without poisons meant really paying attention to ecosystems around crops. And through this process of turning into an organic producer, I learned so much. I learned about the soils, I learned about the insects, I learned about the connections between those and the crops. Um, I learned a lot. Organic opened a whole new world to me. It showed me how to farm with life, for life. But it required needing a lot of knowledge and there wasn't a lot of knowledge available. But as my business began to grow, largely through trial and error, I began to develop a small database of knowledge um, that I wanted to um, put into a format to share with other farmers because I realized all of us were having the same problem. Um, so myself and other like-minded partners um, started working on materials, content, organic content for farmers, including the Organic Farmer magazine, um, Infinite, the website. But what really bothered me about these were the reach. First of all, the magazine couldn't reach far enough. And secondly, most farmers could not access the internet. And that's when I started conceptualizing a tool that could take this knowledge, but make it available on low-end Mulika Muzi phones. Um, and that's where iCal was conceptualized. And that's how most of you know us today as iCal. So iCal um, is available on low-end phones over the short code star 285 hash and teaches everything, soils, crops, um, insects, pests, all the livestock, uh, it's great. Basically what it ensures is that no farmer is left behind. And that's the dream of Team ICAL, that no farmer is left behind ever. And that's why now as we're learning more about soil biology, we're like, we've got to get this information out there because it is vital, it's cutting edge, it's new, and it's absolutely vital. Now we're developing tools to deep dive into soil biology. And you may be wondering why, well, it seems that somewhere in our journey as farmers, even when we do mostly the right things, we're still unable to optimize production. Farming is still hard. It requires backbreaking labor and it's resulting in lower yields, even for some of us that follow organic production. And we're asking ourselves why? Why are yields declining? Why are soils less productive year on year? And let me share some data from a recent survey we conducted on iCal that will actually help you to understand why I say that even as organic producers, some of our year we're seeing yields declining. So we did a short survey on iCal 
And we asked farmers who were interested in soil biology to take the survey. Our res the response we have so far is of 711 farmers. The first question we asked is, have you noticed declining crop yields in your soils over the years? An astounding 87% said they have. Can you just imagine this across the entire country? That's a large subset, over 700, that answered. 87% has said that their yields are going down year after year. We then asked, do you know what's causing your declining crop yields? And about 30% said they did, but almost 70% had no idea. That in itself is shocking. We can see our soils are beginning to decline in productivity and health, but we don't know why. We then asked, what kind of fertilizer do you use? Livestock manure not composted, fertilizer from agro dealers, both of the above. Notice at this point, we didn't ask about composting. But the answers show us that a lot of farmers are using all of those livestock manure uncomposted and fertilizers from agro dealers. And when we asked about compost, we saw 48% said they use compost. So many are using compost as well. And then we asked, do you plow or dig up your land before planting? And 91% said they do. Now, sit back and think about it. We've got this microbial life under the soils that like you and I above the soils, need stability to live, to prosper. Yet, what we tend to be doing to the microbial life under the soils is we keep putting them into shocks and havoc. We can see from this data that we're all plowing. That's a massive shock. Totally disrupts their habitat. We're all using various degrees of different inputs and these also have impacts on these microbes, which we will learn about later. So just, we can see that the answers to the big questions we're asking, we can see the causes in the data that we're getting from you. And that, the big reasons are around soil biology. So this class is to tell us how do we, what do we do then? How do we counteract that? We also asked farmers whether they knew about soil microbes. Only 40% said they did. That means 60% didn't. That's a lot. We asked, would you like to know more about life in the soil and its importance to healthy crops? And we had an astounding 95% that said, yes, they did, which is what has led us to producing this new, these new lessons that we're doing. One of the questions was, ICAO is conducting classes on soil biology. Are you interested in joining? And 97% of those that answered said they are. As our classes will be he held on smartphone, uh, and part of the format is video and image, we asked, do you have a smartphone? And this is where the big problem is, and this is where we need your help. Only 33%, 34% of those that answered have smartphones. That means that most don't, okay? But we can't hold these classes over feature phones because we must show video material and there are interact aspects of this class. So we're going to rely on you and the model of our training to reach out to those individuals who don't have smartphones to make sure that we are inclusive, to make sure that this knowledge spreads to farmers who desperately need it. Um, we have a great answer here where we realize that only 33% had smartphones, but when we asked, do you think you can attend even if you borrow a smartphone? 75% said that they could. So that just shows us that there is a lot of demand and that we can overcome some of the challenges around that demand. So to help us prepare these soil biology classes for you, we've been doing some research and studying too. I personally have been doing a deep dive into soil biology with the world famous Elaine Ingham Soil Food Web School. And through the course that I'm taking, I'm gonna share with you all that I've learned about the soil food web. Healthy soils are teeming with life. Most of it is microscopic, but some of it isn't. And here are a few pictures, some of soils and some of compost. And you'll notice as the pictures go by that they're all very different. What you're seeing is the life under the soil. Those very round, clear edged, cylindrical, oval objects that you can see that is life. The jagged edged, edged things, not really life. 
Those might be salts or sand particles um, or other crystal salts. But the life is generally has very clear edges around it. And as you learn more and begin to identify what kind of life, because there's gazillions of species of life in there, you'll begin to be able to see that some soils have life, some soils don't have life, some compost have life, some don't have life. And the interesting thing about all of these is that some of those microbes under the soil support very weedy growth above the soil. Some of the microbes, when you notice those microbes in abundance, they're supporting trees or grasses or things that need more carbon in their structure. So based on what we can see, we can actually begin to imagine what we can grow, but based on what we want to grow, we can even influence that biology that is in the ground. Currently, our data is showing us that we are influencing the biology in the ground, but we're influencing it negatively. Most of our soils are being influenced negatively, which is why we're seeing year on year reduction in yields. But the good news is we can change this and we're gonna help you to do that. Our actions above the ground either damage the life in the soils or support it, but our lives depend on the soil life. So we must learn to support it. I'm really happy to see you all in class and I encourage you to invite your friends and your family to join too. These classes are designed to ensure that you learn what you learn, you share with your family and your, fam and your community. Make sure that you include those that don't have smartphones in the knowledge that we're giving to you, okay? Classes will be grouped on WhatsApp, where the class lessons will be shared in video format. And each week we'll also hold Zoom calls. And this is really cool. We hold these classes to discuss the lessons and to meet up fellow classmates from across the entire country. They're hugely interactive sessions and they're really cool. They're great. Be sure not to miss them. The practical lessons in this class are the most important. They're extremely important. And we start with some. You'll be required to do them and to post your videos of your practicals in your WhatsApp group in your class so that you can learn from others as well as teach others. You'll learn how to build soil integrity and how to make great compost. You'll also have the opportunity to send samples of your soils and compost to our lab in Nairobi, where we'll analyze it for you and we'll send the results back to you in video and picture format and explain to you what this means. We'll be able to give you recommendations on what your soils are currently capable of supporting and how to manage them towards growing the crops that you want to grow. You'll learn to farm without digging and plowing. You'll learn how to break your compaction layers using microbes. You'll learn how to manage weeds without weeding. And along the way, you'll end up with soils that absorb water that don't erode and your yields will increase. And it'll be less work because we'll be teaching you how to let the soil biology do the work for you. So don't forget, we're teaching you and we want you to teach others. And we want you to show us, video yourselves as you're teaching others. Now, to begin with, we require you fill in a short survey so that we can get to know a little bit about you too. If you haven't done so, please click on the link that will follow this video. Thank you for joining this class. Team iCal, look forward to working with you, look forward to helping you reverse your declining soils, health and fertility. We aim to work with you to regenerate your soils for yourselves, as well as for future generations. Be blessed.